checked the shotgun missiles did not print very well. I'm going to try again, but I'll try just a slug this time. And you can see there's like little remnants of lines and things like that. And that's uh, one of the things that I'll clean up here in a second. So I'm going to my objects and export them in millimeters. STL file. Okay. Okay, so this is a neat service here. Uh, the next thing I do is take it to this uh, cloud based application called uh, NetFab, or that's actually the name of the website, netfab.com. It will actually clean up your uh, CAD files of any. Uh, you know, you saw all those little miscellaneous lines and things, uh, but it's already completed. I can just download it. Okay, so here it is, all cleaned up. But you get the point. It cleans up all the surfaces. Okay, so next what we're going to do is bring it into Repetier, which is a program that allows you to slice it into layers. Let's see, add object, and that will drop it in there. You can center the object, make sure it's on the actual bed. These are, this represents the bed of your printer. Kind of zoom in and make sure it's okay, okay to print. Then you go to what's called a slicer that'll actually create the different layers. And here you can see the code, the G code, that will be sent to the printer that the slicer created. Over here, your manual controls for the printer. I'm going to set it to 110% on the flow rate. I found that helps. And I'm going to heat up the extruder and the print, print head. And once those reach uh, the given or the required temperature, which is at least 195 Celsius for the extruder head and at least 80 Celsius uh, for the print bed, it'll start. Print job will start. Well, at this point, I'm going to call it a victory because even if it <laughs> comes unglued now uh, or unstuck, I'm, I'm thinking I've got a slug that can be shot out of the 12 gauge shotgun. So I'm not sure if it's printing on glass is better or if it's a combination of glass and hairspray. But uh, I'm also going to look into a slurry that I read about today of uh, acetone and some of your parts uh, making like a slurry, like a glue slurry. And uh, so that looks pretty good.
right. See how hard it's stuck to the glass. Not very, not stuck very well. I think we're lucky. It's pretty good. So that's about 60% solid. It doesn't weigh an ounce, I don't think, but it's a lot bigger than a slug. So that's about an inch and a half long. So, well, if I can hold on to it, it should, I don't know why, I'm not being able to show much detail, but you can see the layers, but they did bond together well, unlike some of my other tries you can see here. You can actually see daylight through some of the layers there. So this one will be coming your way, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you.